Hi, and welcome to your introduction to cell culture calculations. These calculations are important for subculturing and experimentations with cells. You need to be able to calculate things such as cell number, cell concentration, and also the volume that you need of your cell suspension. The first important thing is that you need to know definitions. So for example, a number of cells is how many cells there are. So for example, five cells is a number. Now in contrast, a concentration is the number of cells per a volume or per an area. So for example, five cells per mil is a concentration. And it's really important that you understand the distinction between those two things. So cell counters usually give you a concentration, such as two times 10 to the six cells per mil. And one of the common things that you will have to calculate is how many cells do you have in total? Let's go through an easy example. Now that how many cells do I have is asking for a number. So for example, 10 cells. And this number comes from the concentration you have multiplied by the volume you have. So for example, if the cell counter reports 10 cells per mil and you have two mils, then the total number is 10 cells per mil multiplied by two mil. And keeping with good algebra, we use our units. The mils cancel each other out so that we're left with 10 cells multiplied by two, which of course gives us 20 cells. And that's how many cells we have in total. Another common thing that you want to calculate is how do you get a certain number of cells? So for example, you want to subculture five cells into your new flask. How much volume of your existing cell suspension do you take to make sure that you have five cells. Now I want to raise an important point here. This is different to when you're trying to subculture a concentration. This is asking for a number, five cells, not five cells per mil. And this is why that distinction between number and concentration is really important. All right, let's get back to the question. You want to subculture five cells. What volume contains five cells? That volume is equal to the number of cells that you want, which is five, divided by the concentration. So let's say that your cell counter reports 10 cells per mil and you want five cells. So the volume that you want is equal to five cells divided by 10 cells per mil. Again, our units cancel out so we're left with five divided by 10 per mil, which equals 0.5 mil or 500 microliters. So if you were to take 500 microliters or 0.5 mils of your cell suspension, that would contain five cells. And that's what you'd put into your new flask. All right, another common thing you'll have to calculate is how do you get a certain concentration of cells? So let's say your experiment needs two cells per mil. How do you get that? Well, quite often, this will require diluting your cell suspension to get the concentration that you want. And for this, you need to know the dilution factor. Now the dilution factor is equal to the concentration you have divided by the concentration you want. So let's say that your cell counter reports 10 cells per mil. You have two mils and you want two cells per mil. So firstly, let's calculate that dilution factor. The concentration you have, 10 cells per mil, divided by the concentration you want, two cells per mil. The units cancel each other out, so you're left with 10 divided by two, which is equal to five. So your dilution factor is five. Now once you have your dilution factor, you need to calculate your new volume or how diluted you need to make your sample so that it has that concentration you want. Now this is equal to, so the new volume is equal to the old volume multiplied by the dilution factor. So right now you have two mils. 
you just calculate dilution factor to be 5. So your new volume is equal to 2 mils times 5, which equals 10 mils. So you'll need to make your cell suspension up to 10 mils. Now you already have 2 mils, so you just have to add 8 mils of new media onto that to get your new concentration. All right, now in real life, we don't get easy numbers like two or 10 cells per mil. Usually there's exponentials, but don't be afraid of that because the equations are exactly the same. So it might be quite common for your cell counter to report two times 10 to the six cells per mil, for example. Now we're gonna go through a few examples of things you might have to calculate. And I want you to pause the video and take the time to calculate each of these. If you can do these, then you shouldn't have any problems in the lab. So, the information you have is that your cell counter reports two times 10 to the six cells per mil. You have two mils. So, how many cells do you have in total? Second question, what volume should you put in a new flask if you want a subculture one times 10 to the five cells? And finally, how would you make a suspension of five times 10 to the five cells per mil? So note that in that first question, it's asking for a number. How many cells do you have? The second question is asking for a volume to give you a specific number. And the third question is asking you to make a suspension at a certain concentration. Pause the video now and go through each of those questions. Okay, hopefully you had a good go at those. Let's look at the first one first. Now remember, it's asking for a number. How many cells do you have? And this is just the volume you have multiplied by the concentration you have. So you have two mils, the concentration is two times 10 to the six cells per mil. So those two mils cancel each other out and you're left with two times, two times 10 to the six cells, which is equal to four times 10 to the six cells. And that's how many cells you have in total. All right, the second question asked, what volume do you put in a new flask if you want a subculture one times 10 to the five cells? So what volume of your starting suspension contains one times 10 to the five cells? Now remember, this calculation is just the volume is equal to the number you want divided by the concentration. So you want one times 10 to the five cells, your concentration is two times 10 to the six cells per mil. Now, remember those units cancel each other out. So you're left with one times 10 to the five divided by two times 10 to the six per mil. And let's make our lives easier and convert that two times 10 to the six to 20 times 10 to the five, which is exactly the same thing. Now you can cancel those 10 to the fives out and you're left with one divided by 20 per mil, which gives you 0 0.05 mils or 50 microliters. So if you take 50 microliters of your current cell suspension, that will contain one times 10 to the five cells. All right, the final question asked, how would you make a suspension of five times 10 to the five cells per mil? Now remember for this, we need to know our dilution factor, which is equal to the current concentration divided by the concentration you want. So we currently have two times 10 to the six cells per mil. We want five times 10 to the five cells per mil. Now those cells per mil cancel each other out. And remember, make our lives easier and write that out as 20 times 10 to the five. Then we can cancel out the 10 to the fives and we're just left with 20 divided by five, which is of course four. So our dilution factor is four. Next, we need to calculate our new volume. So remember that's our current volume multiplied by our dilution factor. So our current volume is two mils multiplied by four, which is our dilution factor, gives us eight mils. So we need to make our suspension up to eight mils. Now we already have two mils, so you just add six mils of new media to your suspension and that'll be the concentration that you want. All of these calculations rely on a few key things. 
The first is that you know your current numbers. So you need to know what your current concentration is. You need to know what your current volume is, for example. The second thing it relies on is knowing what you're trying to calculate. Be really clear, are you trying to calculate an, an, an amount, a number, or are you trying to calculate a concentration? Because they're two very different things. And finally, work through the equation step by step. It's no good jumping around to the, to the end. A good way of looking at this is with the units. So the units will tell you if you're calculating the right thing or if you've done something wrong. So for example, if you're trying to calculate a concentration and yet when you go through with the units, you don't have a per mil, then you've done something wrong. So be good with your algebra, be good with your maths and write out the units for each of your calculations. Then you'll know exactly what you're calculating and if you've done it correctly. Good luck with your cell culture and with all of your experiments.